Game Makers! Before today, I had never used the Godot game engine. In a single night, I went from knowing nothing to having a functional Flappy Bird game in Godot using Chatty G as my wise teacher and guy. This video is a tale of struggle, frustration, <laughs> no, 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 what am I saying? I kid, I kid, it was actually super easy. Let me show you. I did the whole thing in a night. Look right here. I started at 7.02 p.m. And at the end of the video, I'll show you my clock again and you'll see exactly how much time this entire game really took. Couple snags along the way, which I'll show you so you can avoid my mistakes, but seriously, Godot is pretty sweet. Have I mentioned yet that it's free? Chatty G walked me through the steps for downloading and installing Godot and starting a new project. There were detailed steps for creating the bird that flaps, along with the steps for setting up the obstacles, but I quickly ran into our first problem. You see, our chatty friend is trained on billions of internet pages, and when it comes to Godot, a lot of them refer to Godot version 3. But the latest is version 4, and things have changed, my friends. Things have changed. So the instructions from Chatty G weren't working. If you're planning to use ChatGPT to teach yourself Godot, I'd recommend explicitly telling it that you're looking for Godot 4 instructions. Chatty G walked me through the steps for making the bird, which started with importing the graphical image and ended with hooking up the spacebar to flap the bird's wings. Next, Chatty G walked me through the steps for creating pipes with collision and setting up a pipe spawner to scroll obstacle pipes towards the player. One thing about having ChatGPT as my teacher, it did not explain correctly how to set up the different components in a hierarchy. Oh, ChatGPT, why can't you just do everything for me? Someday, my friends, someday. Finally, ChatDog showed me how to set up the UI in Godot. It's pretty easy, really. With my newfound powers, I added a score, end game screen, and copy pasted in the code that Chatty G gave me. The game works, but a Flappy Bird game just isn't complete without the bird tilting up and down like we all wish we could when we're listening to our favorite tunes. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So we'll copy paste that code from Chatty G as well, and presto, we've got ourselves a working Flappy Bird game. As promised, here's the time at the end. From knowing nothing about Godot to making Flappy Bird in under three hours, is that due to the power of the Godot engine or is it the superpower teaching skills of learning something new with ChatGPT? Probably a little bit of both. And I gotta say, it's the way of the future and I'm here for it.